Yep. Yep. Ah, well, 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 guys. Here we are again. Rebel Gaming Club. Worst pickup. We got a fun episode this week. We got a package from my buddy John. It's always a treat. He sent some good stuff from up in Maine. I like that. Found some stuff at the thrift this week. We went on Macari and found some fun stuff. Got a package from Richard Brian Kahn. Got a package from Preston. So all kinds of friends sending stuff. It's very kind of them. Makes for a really fun episode. Uh, right off the bat, Macari. 20 bucks. We got this McFarlane Larry Bird figure. And it's beautiful. The, the detail on this, like McFarlane stuff in general, is, is just spot on. But something I've always wanted, and, and lately I've been trying to grow the Larry Bird collection because you know, my favorite basketball player of all time. I'm a big Celtics fan. And um, so we're trying to add some new things to the collection. I also got a, a vintage postcard. So that was just a few dollars off of eBay. So we got two really cool items to, to add to the collection. Uh, went to the thrift today. Steve McQueen bullet on Blu-ray. I feel like Steve McQueen is someone I should know more about. Like, I know Steve McQueen, but I don't think I've really seen a Steve McQueen movie. So this one looks like a, a good one to start with because it has all kinds of car chases in it. And that sounds pretty fun to me. Hi, I'm Super Mario Joe. I love to rock. Uh, Richard Pine Khan, fam, he sent a, he sent a package. Uh, we just did a mega trade, but there was a couple things that he had to send separate because, well, they're kind of fragile, so we didn't want to, you know, get them fucked up. Um, he sent a few few CDs. He sent this uh, Rocket from the Crypt album, which I didn't have. That was nice of him. He had just found these. He, this Nerf Herder album, which is a, a classic pop punk record. Really good. Really fun. Thanks for that, fam. And also this the seven inch single of the Tremolos, even the bad times are good. I see seven inches like this in singles and you look at them, they're, they're so happy in the, the photo. So this must have come out, what? Probably late 60s, 68 or something. I'm like, what are these guys up to now? I mean, maybe some of them are dead. But wouldn't it be funny if you knew one of these guys personally and you know, you'd just be able to talk to them about those times? I think that'd be something. So that's what I, I see when I see stuff like this. So Richard Brian Kahn, thank you for sending that along. Those were just little bonuses he threw in as a treat. Cause the real deal of what he had sent was right here. Star Trek original models. These things are beautiful. He sent two of them. We got a we got a, a Klingon battle cruiser right here, and we also have the Enterprise. Just, I mean, the boxes alone, the colors on them, the the purples, the blues, it's something to be seen. I um, I actually a couple days ago started putting this together. It's not many pieces, but. This is from, I'm guessing, 19, 1968, it's saying on here, on the box. I don't know. I'm assuming, I would have guessed 1970, 71, but 68 makes sense. There's only about 30 pieces, but the plastic is so old that it's like kind of warped. So having to glue some of this stuff together was a challenge. But me and the girlfriend actually did it. I, I'm going to have another video just showing that whole process with some photos and talking about it. But... Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that Richard Brian Kahn sent these because as we see in an upcoming video, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about these and why they're so important to me. So awesome for the collection. Thank you, Richard Brian Kahn. You'll know it's time to turn the page 
when you hear the chimes ring like this. Found some Charlie Brown canvas prints. These were $2 each. I've realized that I'm a, I'm a really big Charlie Brown fan. Peanuts in general. Um, I, I just love the art style. I love the stories. I like the concept of it. Um, I like just about everything about it. Uh, right now I'm in the, I'm working on finding some figures from 2002 that uh, they did a line of them in 2002. They're just really well done figures. And I think I'm going to collect those as well and kind of call it a day with my, my Charlie Brown peanuts collection. I got a couple of the volumes back here. The first three, I just um, ordered the another volume of that. There's a ton of them and they're kind of pricey. So can't go too fast on that. <sighs> eBay, what is the, what is the site? Uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. It's like G Grov, Grov, I believe is the, the website, but they also have an eBay store. I think it's the, the company that owns all the rights to all these movies and TV shows because a couple times a year they do a, a big sale where it's like 40% off. So the first thing we ordered, something I've wanted for a long time was this uh, Murder, She Wrote box set. Uh, I used to watch it with my grandmother. So it, it's like one of those those shows that is very comforting. And uh, now we got the, the whole box set, which is nice. Uh, I like murder mystery shit. I can get behind it. I, I can tell you guys aren't. You're like, Murder, She Wrote? Come on now. Come on, guys. Uh, we ordered this um, John Candy collection, which has Uncle Buck on it has uh, The Great Outdoors, which is one of my favorite movies, and uh, Going Berserk, which I don't, I'm not quite sure if I've ever seen Going Berserk. I know of it, I don't think I've seen it though. Um, we ordered Smokey and the Bandit, the seven movie outlaw collection. Once again, I, I believe this was like $5 or something. So well worth it, it has Smokey and the Bandit one, two, and three. And then, um, I'm guessing some of these later smoking in the bandits aren't so good, but you know what? We'll try it out. And the last thing I got from this eBay sale here was uh, What's Happening, the complete series, all 65 episodes. Uh, what's Happening? What was it? Uh, must have been 1976? Yeah, 76, 77, 78, 79. I've been watching some of these episodes on Tubi and um, I'm just loving it. So I figured for $12, I should probably just have the whole box set so I can kind of watch it whenever I want and kind of keep track of it. So yeah. Um, real quick, we're gonna, we're gonna show some photos, Preston. You know, he had sent some stuff a little while ago. He was like, he's he's moving to Colorado. Well, he's already moved there now. But uh, I think he was just kind of offloading the rest of his stuff before he moved. And he had a couple miscellaneous things. So he, he sent another package, which I did get. But this was last week when I was trying to clean up. So I opened it up, took some photos. I'm going to show them right now. Preston, thank you so much some some more some more good stuff in there and I appreciate that um, good luck in Colorado I know you're gonna love it I've been there many a time it's a great state it's a good place to be you'll, you'll do all right there um, that's gonna lead us up to pretty much uh, our finale right now uh, my buddy John sent a package uh, he, he sends quite a few packages, you know, and it's always a, a good time to kind of see what he finds and, and what he's kind of thrown in there. I, we got we got a box. Hold on. Uh, uh, here it is, right here. Well, not this controller. Um, the girlfriend found this controller at thrift for a few bucks. So, <clears throat> but that's not it. So first off, box from John. He sent this flag. This is awesome. Ugh. 
Ugh. Hopefully you can see that. So it's an Eddie Van Halen flag, which is decent um, because Van Halen's awesome and this is like iconic. So I, I don't know where we're gonna hang this, but we'll definitely find a nice spot to, to display this. So that's a, a great start right there. Uh, sent some video games. He sent Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. I played all three of these when they came out on the, the PS3. I love them. Love them so much. So, awesome that John sent that. We got Far Cry, New Dawn. Love me some Far Cry. We got Walking Dead, the final season. B Simulator. And also, Dying Light, the following. Awesome. So, some good ones to add to the, the PS4 collection right there. He sent a bunch of these um, Cuphead. I, I guess there's 26 in all. This was, uh, what is it? Um, buildable figures, mystery boxes. Let's see those. So he sent a bunch of those. Um, like literally a, a bunch. I'm curious, John, did you like get a whole set of these? Were you working on a whole set? So you had the, you just bought a bunch? I'm sure you and Evan were going crazy trying to like collect the whole set. They're awesome though. Except these aren't even, haven't been put together or anything. But I'm waiting for Cuphead for a physical release on, on the Switch or the PS4 or something. Yeah, these are awesome. So I'll definitely slap these things together. We'll show that in a, a later video. As, I mean, there's a ton of them. Like, Cuphead for days. Art style is so good on these. Oh, he sent uh, he sent some tea berry gum, which I'm assuming that's got to be a main thing. I don't know tea berry gum, so I'm hoping it's a main thing. And some sort of chocolate bar. I don't I don't know what this is. Get the focus here. I'm about to pass that on because I know there's no way that's vegan. Not that I can read the, the, the shit on the back of it. Um, oh, there it is. So Rebel Rock is the, the weekly show that we do talking about rock and roll. I do it with Richard Brian Kahn and my buddy Dave and Nick Grandchamp. Um, my buddy John is a huge T-Swift fan. So he's like, just watch this. And you know what? I will watch this. I, I don't mind, you know, taking a look. We'll see. We'll see. That's cool though. Also sent Top Cat the movie. So I didn't realize there was a Top Cat movie that just came out. Rob Schneider and Danny Trejo. Okay. And then also Top Cat Begins, another movie. So two brand new Top Cat movies, okay. I used to love the original Top Cat. I'll be curious to see if this holds up. Oh, he sent this book. 1966, Remember When, A Nostalgic Look Back. So this is a kind of a, a fun little book, just gives kind of basic facts, like 1966, um, the cost of living. So if you wanted to buy a new house, the average price was right around $14,000 in 1966. The average income per person per year was $6,899. New car was $2,653. Average rent, 120 per month. 
Interesting. So this is really cool. It's got a bunch of old advertise, advertisements in there and just people that were born in 66. So I'll, I'll take that. That'll be good for the shitter. Take shit with that one. Oh, and then we got this. What do we got? Oh, look at this. It's a cool little prop from, from Jaws. Look at that. Now, John, did you, when you say custom made, did you custom make this? I mean, I believe that you could do it. It's well done. Looks great. Pops. No. Yes. No. Yes. Well, it looks like you did make this, John. Well, that's awesome. We got a little signature on the back your friend John so cool it's stuff like this you know that kind of adds to the, the whole collection in your your, your space you know because a lot of times we just pick up stuff that's made I guess what is it you know you just go to fucking Target or Walmart and you start buying stuff and it's like eh, eh everyone's got that but sometimes we can get something custom made where it's it's one of a kind or it's you know it's a total DIY project like this I mean it just it makes it makes the room pop you know we'll definitely find a nice place I'm running out of space though I got, I got no room for anything anymore but we'll figure it out we'll get to the bottom of it so John thank you so much thank you guys out there for tuning in I don't know if I have anything else to add. I think that might be about it. So until next time, guys, um, you, you just do what you do and um, you toodaloo. Jordan, can you stop playing Limp Biscuit? It's the only one if I hear bow to the bow to the boogie boogie woogie I'm one more fucking time, I'm fucking lose it, all right? It's the only song I know. Hey, hey Jordan, remember what we fucking said? Are you playing that fucking song again? It, it's still the only song I know, guys. Give me those fucking bongos.